Running a hotel is more than just warm smiles and fluffy pillows. It's a business. To win in this business, you gotta understand the numbers. That means knowing your P&L inside and out, understanding your ADR like the back of your hand, and keeping a close eye on your cogs. Think of your hotel like a fancy car. You need the right fuel to make it run, and you need to track your mileage to make sure you're going in the right direction. That's what hotel financials do for you. They give you the roadmap to success. Whether you're running a small boutique hotel or a massive resort, the principles are the same. You need to know what's coming in, what's going out, and how to maximize that all-important bottom line. The P&L Profit and Loss Statement is your financial report card. It tells you how much money you made, revenue, and how much money you spent expenses over a specific period. Let's break it down. Revenue. This is the money you bring in from hotel rooms, restaurants, bars, spas, and any other services you offer. It's the lifeblood of your business. Expenses. This is the money going out the door. Think staff salaries, utilities, marketing, food and beverage costs, and property maintenance. It's the cost of doing business. To create your P&L, list your revenue sources at the top. Then, subtract your operating expenses. The result is your gross operating profit, GOP. Finally, subtract your fixed costs like taxes and insurance. The remaining amount is your net profit. A healthy P&L shows a profit, meaning you're making more than you're spending. If you see red, a loss. It's time to tighten the belt and figure out where you can improve. ADR stands for Average Daily Rate. It's the average price a guest pays for a room on a given night. This metric is crucial for understanding how much revenue your rooms are generating. Calculating ADR is straightforward. ADR equals total room revenue divided by the number of rooms sold. For example, if you sell 100 rooms and make $10,000 in room revenue, your ADR is $100. ADR is affected by factors like seasonality, demand, competition, and your hotel's location and amenities. A higher ADR generally means you're attracting the right kind of guests and maximizing your revenue potential. COGS stands for Cost of Goods Sold. In the hotel world, it refers to the direct costs associated with providing your services. For your room's division, COGS includes things like toiletries, linens, and cleaning supplies. For your food and beverage operations, it includes the cost of food, beverages, and any related supplies. Why is COGS important? Because it directly impacts your gross profit. By keeping your COGS under control, you can improve your bottom line. This means negotiating better prices with suppliers, managing inventory effectively, and minimizing waste. Section 5. KPIs Keeping your finger on the pulse, KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, are like your hotel's vital signs. They are measurable values that tell you how well your hotel is performing in key areas. By tracking KPIs, you can identify areas of strength and areas that need improvement. Some important KPIs for hotels include Occupancy rate The percentage of rooms occupied during a specific period Average length of stay, or ALOS The average number of nights guests stay at your hotel REVPAR, or Revenue Per Available Room a measure of your hotel's revenue generating ability per room. Customer satisfaction scores. Feedback from guests on their experience at your hotel. By closely monitoring these and other KPIs, you can make data-driven decisions to optimize your hotel's operations and improve your bottom line. Section 6. KRAs – Setting Goals for Hotel Success KRAs, or Key Result Areas, are the specific areas your hotel needs to focus on to achieve its overall objectives. While KPIs measure performance, KRAs define the strategic goals. Here's the difference. 
A KPI might be to increase occupancy rate. The corresponding KRA would be to improve marketing and sales efforts to attract more guests. Some common KRAs in the hotel industry include revenue generation, increasing room revenue, food and beverage sales, and other revenue streams, guest satisfaction, delivering exceptional guest experiences and building loyalty, operational efficiency, streamlining operations, reducing costs, and maximizing profitability, employee engagement, creating a positive work environment and retaining top talent. By setting clear KRAs and aligning your team around them, you can create a roadmap for success and ensure everyone is working towards the same goals. Section 7. Cover Size. Feeding the Beast. Cover size is a critical metric for restaurants and other food and beverage outlets within your hotel. It refers to the number of guests served during a specific meal period. Knowing your average cover size helps you forecast demand, estimate how much food and beverage inventory you need to have on hand, optimize staffing levels, ensure you have enough servers, cooks, and bartenders to handle the volume of guests. Maximize table turnover. Turn tables efficiently to serve more guests and generate more revenue. By tracking cover size and analyzing trends, you can make informed decisions to improve the efficiency and profitability of your food and beverage operations. Section 8. EBITDA, measuring your hotel's muscle. EBITDA stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. It's a key financial metric that measures your hotel's operating profitability. Why is EBIT Day important? Because it gives you a clear picture of your core business performance, excluding the impact of financing decisions and accounting methods. Here's how to calculate EBIT Da EBIT Da equals net income plus interest plus taxes plus depreciation plus amortization. A healthy EBTDA indicates that your hotel is generating sufficient cash flow to cover operating expenses and make investments in the business. It's a key metric used by investors and lenders to assess the financial health of a hotel. Section 9. Mastering the Numbers – Your Key to Hotel Success In the competitive world of hotels, understanding your financials is not just important, it's essential. Whether you're negotiating with suppliers, securing financing, or making strategic decisions about your business, having a firm grasp on your hotel's financial performance is crucial. By mastering the concepts of P&L, ADR, COGS, KPIs, KRAs, cover size, and EBITDA, you'll be equipped to make informed decisions that drive profitability, guest satisfaction, and long-term success for your hotel. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the hotel industry, financial knowledge is the key to unlocking your full potential.